What's going on? It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. So I got a question asking if I can show the plugins that I use when I'm mixing vocals. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to show you what plugins I'm going to go to that I use probably 80, 90 percent of the time. It's the same sort of plugin chain that I use. I might use something different. I might use a different compressor. Or I might use a different EQ. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. This video, I'm going to show you my vocal plugin chain so you can get crispy vocals just like these. So shout out my two new subscribers. Pokhan is X Pokhan is Jai and Al Lee the Seema. Hope I pronounced that correct. If I haven't, let me know. Drop a comment below. Let me know how if I if I pronounce it correct or not. And I hope you hit that notification bell so you would have got notified for this video and for future videos. So favorite comment for this week's coming from Alexis Chang. It's one of my old videos, but it's good to know that my old videos are still reaching and helping you and other people to solve your problems. That's what it's about. This session here is for uh, it was for a client artist who I work with, and it's quite a straightforward mix. Few effects and a few things to, to brighten up the vocals and whatnot. When they were sent to me, they was quite dull sounding, which I, I kind of prefer rather than having a whole heap of static and noise and all sorts going off in the background. I wouldn't do a video as well on how to record vocals so to, you can get the best sound, especially if you're, you're home recording as well and you've got all sorts going off in the background. I'm going to do a video on that so you can get the best recording. So whenever you're sending someone like me to mix your work or you send it to another mix engineer, and they've got something decent to work with from the off which makes our job so much more easier and when we're delivering the sound to you or your track to you it will sound like what you're hearing in other places because sometimes you might think doesn't sound like how i want it to sound doesn't sound like uh, the top 40 stuff and half of the reason is or most most time the reason is the vocals haven't been recorded properly or the mix isn't up to par but anyway that's a whole nother video whole another subject let's jump into this video here and i'm going to show you my vocal chain so you can get some crispy vocals but bear in mind this vocal chain that i'm using like obviously you can do the same thing you can copy the uh the exact um you can just copy exact uh can't find the word i'm looking for yeah you can copy the numbers if you want but the vocals every vocal is different Artist is different, vocal tones different, mic choice, room it's recorded in, audio interface it's gone through, um, mindset of the mixing engineer. So it just boils down to your taste and what you like and what you want to hear, uh, and always always delivering what the artist wants because that's the most important thing. Kind of got to put yourself in a in the place of the artist as well because I, this is what's helped me a lot with mixing. This is a little gem here for you. Treat the mix like it's your mix, like it's you're the artist, you're mixing yourself and you're putting that product out there as your own. Because it is, in, the, in a sense, it's your portfolio, it's what people are going to know you for. Anyway, enough rambling, let's jump in. So I'm just going to play to you, I'm just going to play you the song. I'm just going to play you the verse. And then I'm going to take the plugins off so you can hear what I was sent. And then to show you the plugins that I used to get the vocals sounding crispy. Yeah. I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process. I keep being me, bro, but sometimes I need to flee. This industry is mess, I ain't mimicking no gimmicks. I'm in it for my innings, I ain't talking about no cricket. I got things on my mind, so I might as well. Yeah. You well. think I'm trying to bring my back to fitting? So, yeah, that's the vocals with all the plugins. And then we're going to look at the vocals without. Without all the plugins and the uh, processing going on. So is the vocal without any processing. Yo, I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process. I keep being me, bro, but sometimes I need to flee. This industry is mess, I ain't mimicking no gimmicks. I'm in it for my innings, I ain't talking about no cricket. I got things on my mind, so I might as well. You think I'm trying to break my back to fit in? The recordings are quite clean, a um, little bit boomy in some places. So to get rid of any rumble that's at the bottom, I like to use the NS1 just to clean up any mess. Any mess or any noise, kind of like a gate. Yeah. I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process. I keep being me, bro, but sometimes I need to flee this industry. Just feels like it tightens up a little bit. Then, I like to use a, a Pro Q3, like a surgical 
EQ, cutting unwanted frequencies. So it looks kind of messy, but at the time of mixing it, it felt like it was the right thing to do. So I've got a few cuts going off. Nothing more than 3 dB cuts. Standard 70, 80, 90 hertz low cut. Just to get rid of any rumble that might have come through um, while recording or a, a knock on the mic or something on the mic stand. And this is what it sounds like with the EQ on. Yeah. I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb. I know the process. I keep being me, bro. But sometimes I need to flee. This industry is mess. I ain't mimicking. No and it sounds, it sounds like I've cleaned it up a bit. Got rid of the unwanted frequencies, but it sounds a bit essy. So the next thing to do for me is DS. So I chuck a DS on there. Yeah. I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb. I know the process. I keep being me, bro. But sometimes I need to. Actually, it sounds a bit when I bought the. I brought the slider down to about 3.8. It's catching some more of them S's, but at the time of mixing it, it sounded good. Maybe I left it like that so that it would cut through in the mix and sound a bit more natural. Also, I forgot to mention, if you notice, there's a lot of cuts. There's a lot of cuts and slices. So the original waveform would have been quite dynamic because of how he's rapping. So I like to just do little slices or certain parts just to bring down or tame some of the vocal. So this is kind of like clip gaining. Before I used to put a whole, well you can still do that. I, actually I do that more now with my mixes. I put a, a gain plugin uh, as the first insert and use that to do my levels. Uh, but with this mix I used to use, just chopped the vocal and cut where I felt was necessary. So next up we've got an auto tune and the vocal. Yeah. I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb. I know the process, I keep being me, bro. But sometimes I need to flee. This industry is mess. I ain't mimicking no gimmicks. I'm in it for my innings. I ain't talking about no cricket. I got things on my mind, so I might as well. You think I'm trying to break my back to fit in? Works for the track. Yeah, and Sheps. I like to use Sheps. I like, I like the Shep, this Sheps plugin on the channel because it's got a few things in there, like the saturation, it's got DSR, so it's kind of like tidying up. Or instead of using in individual plugins, I know that I've got DS already, but it's, it's like in serial. Using this Omni channel, I can get to do some more stuff. So I've chucked that on, using a bit of saturation, the DSR, EQ, compressor and gate. And then I've just dropped the main output by 3, 4 dB. And this is with and without. Yeah. I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb. I know the process, I keep being me, bro. But sometimes I need to flee. This industry is mess. I ain't mimicking no gimmicks. I'm in it for my innings. I ain't talking about no cricket. I got things on. I should read and read, I should level match, but I like the extra bit of volume that it's given. So, roll with that. If you want to, you can level match so you know that the plugin that you're using is just doing what it is, just adding what you want it to add rather than, rather than ha adding a whole heap of gain and kind of tricking your ear into believing that it's it's better because it's louder. Let's just listen to it in context with the mix. Yo, I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process. I keep being me, bro, but sometimes I need to flee. This industry is mess, I ain't mimicking no gimmicks. I'm in it for my innings, I ain't talking about no cricket. As you can see, it's, it makes a big difference. So next up, I've got the AR compressor, and I like this setting. Can't remember where I got it from, but I just keep... I keep the attack at 60 milliseconds and then release at 160 and then I'll just get about 3 or 4 dB gain reduction and that just keeps, the, just tames some of the peak, just kind of squeezes the dynamics a little bit. Yo. I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process, I keep being me bro, but sometimes I need to flee, this industry is mess. And then I like to go into the UAD 1176, I use this for a bit of character on the vocals, I think on this probably got about 3 to 5 dB. Game reduction. Yo, I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process. I keep being me, bro, but sometimes I need to flee. This industry is mess, I ain't mimicking no gimmicks. I'm in it for my innings, I ain't talking about no cricket. I got things on my mind, so I might as well. Yeah. Might as well. You think I'm trying to break my back to fit in? Quicker attacks start to squeeze the vocal up a bit, so I just left it around about four. Around the middle, ratio at four. Yo. I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process. I keep being me, bro, but sometimes I need... It's not really adding any boost to the to the signal. It's more just tucking it in and tying it up a bit. And then we move on to the Poet Tech. Looks like I've boosted 4 kilohertz, as well, 8 kilohertz as well. So that's probably like for the top end. So it makes it a bit more intelligible. 
and also given the vocal a bit more body so uh, it felt a bit light a bit thin Yo. I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process. I keep being me, bro, but sometimes I need to flee. This industry is mess, I ain't mimicking no gimmicks. I'm in it for my innings. Yeah, that works nicely. Um, without it, I feel like it kind of sits back in the mix a bit too much. So with the 8 kilohertz, it feels like it's just pushing the vocal forward and a bit more intelligible. But listening back, I feel like the uh, the backings could have been a bit... Could have took some of the top end off of the, of the backings just to make them sit further back in the mix because it feels like kind of competing. It works in the mix and um, yeah, it's just it's always the way when you go back to the mix you think, oh, I could have done this different, but at the time you're hearing things maybe a little bit differently or you just, the flavour, the vibe that you're going for was the vibe at the time. And then the last plugin on that chain is the Arvox. I like the Arvox because it's got the gate on it so you can tighten up the vocals again and then get the use the compressor just to give it a bit more again just compressing the vocals and just pushing it forward more forward in the mix. Yo. I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process. I keep being me, bro, but sometimes I need to flee. This industry is mess, I ain't mimicking no gimmicks. I'm in it for my innings, I ain't talking about no cricket. I got things on my mind, so I might as well. Yeah. Might as well. You think I'm trying to bring my back to fitting? Talk, talk to my calendar, it will tell you something different. Yeah, I'm here for the youngest, try to reach out. I've been through the same, I ain't trying to preach out. I'm from Knox, where a bag of talent lives in. Yeah, I could have. Actually, I saw I compressed it a bit more, which boosted the gain. But if you notice here, I've got a whole heap of sends as well that I use for parallel compression or for some more saturation. But yeah, that's my vocal chain. That's the, the basic vocal chain for the actual vocals. But then I've got the vocals running into a bus and then that bus running into a all vocals bus. A new vocals bus that has the UAD oxide tape saturation in it as well, which I'll show you. So I've got all my other sends here width delay parallel compression more compression uh, parallel compression and a reverb but then we've got the vocals will be sent out to our main bus which goes into the fab pro multiband compressor and it's just tucking in a bit of that top end so we listen and see what that does Yo. I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process. I keep being me, bro, but sometimes I need to flee. This industry is mess, I ain't mimicking no gimmicks. I'm in it for my... Tie this up nicely. Then, got a few more cuts and a little boost at 10 kilohertz again, just to push the top end and give it a bit more sizzle. DSR, just to tie up the S's. Yo. I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process. I keep being me. Yeah, lovely. I like how that sounds. So we've got a PSP E27. I like this plugin. Decent. I think I learned this plug this trick from Matthew Weiss, taking away some of the 10k, but then boosting the 17k, which is a bit more of the air, airy sound. Kinda doesn't make sense because I've boosted 10k in the last plugin, and then I'm taking away some. But it worked for this for this mix, so let's just roll with that. Yo. I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process. I keep being me, bro, but sometimes I need to flee. This industry is mess, I ain't mimicking no gimmicks. I'm in it for my innings, I ain't talking about no cricket. I got things on my mind, so I might as well. Yeah, yeah that makes a massive difference. I feel like you can hear everything that he's saying, like it's more intelligible. Yeah, nice, I like that. Yo. I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process. I keep being me, bro, but sometimes I need to be the And so that main vocal will lead out into an all vocals bus. I'd have the main vox, I'd have chorus vocals and, and ad lib vocals. They'll have their own bus, so I can treat them as one. So anything that's like a main vocal, a double, uh, maybe some stuff might go into the main vox. And then we'll have like the chorus vox, that'll be treated in its own way, just to give it a little bit difference compared to the main vocal. Nothing too drastic, They're all depending on what the song wants, what the song needs. And then the ad-libs vocals, but I don't think I used the ad-lib vocals in this one. I think the ad-libs went straight to the main vocals. These three will go out to a normal vocals bus where I can just kind of glue all those together. And on that, I like to use the UAD Oxide, which is, what am I doing in this now? So with the UAD Oxide, I like to push. It's kind of like the same as the 1176. Add some gain, bring some back because we, we want the saturation, we want the sound of the, the plugin. Yo, I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid. Yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process. I keep being me, bro, but sometimes I need to flee. This industry is mess, I ain't mimicking no gimmicks. I'm in it for my innings, I ain't talking about no cricket. I got things on my mind, so I might as well. Yeah, well. you think I'm trying to bring my back to fitting?
Talk, talk to my calendar, it will tell you something different Yeah, I'm here for the youngers, try to reach out I've been through the same, I ain't try to preach out I'm from Knott's, where a bag of talent lives in We try to reach a platform so we can start living Baby got my back, yeah, I've got hers And I'll be popping mad verses like it's So, when I turned it off, it seemed like it was louder And then um, I've used the, the output to turn it down a touch I feel like it makes it sit better in the mix Because you're getting all that top end sizzle You're getting the... The grit of his vocals and it's not overbearing um, I think it worked well for the mix yeah what I like to use as well for the to tighten up the vocals even more sometimes is the trans mod or a transient de designer it's kind of like a compressor um, you set in the attack yeah it just tightens up the vocal I think I'll show you what the trans mod's like so with this plugin you boost the ratio uh, maybe drop that overshoot Yo, I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process I keep being me, bro, but sometimes I need to flee This industry is mess, I ain't mimicking no gimmicks I'm in it for my innings, I ain't talking about no cricket I got things on my mind, so I might as well yeah. You well. think I'm trying to bring my back to feet? Maybe I should have used that on there Because it made the vocals a bit more aggressive and in your face And it's like, you can hear him spitting Listen Yo I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process I keep being me, bro, but sometimes I need to flee This industry is mess, I ain't mimicking no gimmicks I'm in it for my innings, I ain't talking about Yo I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process I... Listen to when he says dumb and dumber Yo I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process I keep being me, bro, but it's like, it's like... Dumber, dumber, I don't say it, it's, it hits. So, yeah, I don't know why I didn't use that. Yeah, I should have gone for the trans mod and that, but yeah. Next mix is definitely going to that one. So, to go back to the, the original question of what plugins I use on my vocal chain, they're the basic plugins to get you started on your mix. So, you've got something to clean it up if you want, um, if it needs it. So, it's an NS1. EQ to get rid of unwanted frequencies. DSR auto-tune if you need it you don't need to use sheps it's all sheps all i'm doing with sheps is using another dsr bit of saturation compression gate and a little bit of eq then i've got two compressors in serial one to catch the peaks so some like to use slow attack fast release second one fast attack slow release just to group the vocal and squeeze it together so it's less dynamic if that's what you're going for and period tech you don't have to use that, you can use any EQ that's going to give you a little bit of body if that's what you're looking for. That's what I've used it for and that. And an 8K that I boosted. And at the end, I've got the Arvox compressor just to tighten it up again with a little bit of the gate and then I'm just compressing it a bit more. So I've got like one, two, three, probably four compressors on that. Do I need four compressors on there? Kind of. I felt like I did. I felt like I needed that. Um, and then it goes out to, does it go out to any more compressors? No. So yeah, four compressors to tame that vocal, get it to sit in the mix. And I think it worked nicely. Client was happy with it. I am happy with it. Client's happy with it, that's the main thing. And it bangs. Yo. I'm doing me, forget the trolls, kid yeah. Back to the summer, no dumb and dumb, I know the process I keep being me, bro, but sometimes I need to flee This industry is mess Mix is an art form I'm in it your taste, my... it's what you hear, it's what you want it to sound like It's how you use the plugins, it's a case of why you're using certain plugins, what you're trying to achieve from using that plugin, and are you using the, I was gonna say, are you using the plugin correctly, but break the rules, rules are there to be broken. I hope this video has helped y'all. If you've got any questions, drop a comment below, or hit me up on Insta. Follow me on Insta, DMs are always open. If you've got any questions, feel free to hit me up there, or drop a comment below, like I said. If this video has helped you at all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, so you get notified Anytime I put up a new video, as per usual, I appreciate your time.